Tyler Reddick for 2311 wins his first race in a Toyota, this time in Austin, Texas at Coda. Now he had the fastest race car, but at every road course race, you seem to get cycled back. And for the 45, you get cycled back to the third row about halfway through the race. But in the end, an impressive restart to take the lead. Yeah, definitely. Uh, takes this restart from, from the third row back, makes a move. He's on a little better tires, maybe a couple laps. He was awesome. The braking zones out breaks the 20 car and the 11 car, I believe it was here into turn one. He's wrapping around the bottom, driving off a of one with a lead. Yeah, mayhem behind them, but he takes the lead with a restart, which then I find so fascinating because now as he has the lead later in the race, he seems to struggle to keep it. So the real question is, why is the leader at such a, a disadvantage when it comes to restarts at Coda? I think there's a couple reasons, but the one I want to focus on is you're, you're trying not to be a victim of somebody stacking you and jacking you from the back. So I think he's driving deep into the zone. He's, he's deeper into it, not going to make the apex, but he's leaving room to not have somebody run into his left rear. It allows him to run off the corner in a position he can still fight from. He's got the fastest car. He doesn't need to hold that position. Yeah, so the first time it was William Byron, this time it's Kyle Busch. I looked at the data. Surprisingly enough, the leader, he's going into turn one 25 miles an hour slower than he does during normal racing circumstances. And I think that's the biggest challenge. So what's your lift mark? And the reason I said that, because on the final restart, Three in a row now. I think Reddick gets it timed correctly. A little help because the eight gets tapped right there. But in the end, nobody was next to the 45. So let's think about this. All race long, you go in at about 150 miles an hour. You have that mark, you lift, you get on the brakes, you turn down on the apex, you have it figured out. Now all of a sudden, you're accelerating later because of the start finish line. Now you're only getting to about 125 miles an hour. Well, if you're running 25 miles an hour slower, you have to drive in deeper, but you only get so many chances. Yeah, and it's one of those things to find the rhythm, find that visual point. You're only doing it a handful of times during the race, and you're only on the front row a few of those times. So figuring that out with the multiple restarts at the end, looked like he finally got it captured to where he wanted to be. Well, he got it where he wanted it to be, but I'm going to tell you the rest of the field, they battled because that little bit slower speed, that little bit questionable judgment and the width of the racetrack allows chaos, and we saw chaos ensue, really between teammates, if you can believe it. So we're gonna take a little look here. The one of Chastain, the 99 of Suarez. So if we pause it about right here, we're gonna look. Let's get the players in order. Here's Suarez, the first track house car. Here is the one. That's the second track house car. Unfortunately, the guy in the middle that's the 48 of Bowman. Why does this matter? They were all upset at the end of the race, and we're gonna show you why. As they go down to the corner, Suarez holds his line, Bowman to the bottom, the one hits the 48, hits the 99, and for Truex, he ends up backwards. So we end up with the one, the 48, and 99, having conversations after the race, but really, the 48's the, the, the middle ball here, right? The, the one got into him, sent him up in the 99, 99 gets the 19, 19 spins around here. Just culmination of impact, and that's what funneling into turn one is, here at Coda. Well, one thing we know, the fans uh, love hard racing, and I also think they love tempers, and that's what we saw. We saw some displeasure after the race from here of Daniel Suarez, and also saw some conversations on pit road. It'll be interesting to see how those conversations and disagreements uh, extend or extinguish as the season goes on.